Hello everyone, welcome back to another video with Cobalt Coalition. I am your host today, Alex Cobalt. Hello? It is I, Dexter. Can you hear me in there? Thank you for volunteering for this important time travel experiment. I'm going to need you to input your profile into the system before we begin. Stand by and I'll bring it up on your monitor. So, Fusion Fall is making its way back. They have just announced that a third party company has taken over. For the past three months, I've been following them on their website, on their Twitter, their social media, their YouTube, and I've been waiting for this moment. Today, August 5th, is the official relaunch for the Fusion Fall Alpha. So, I won't post this video until maybe September or maybe I'll post it like in a week from now so like August 15th or August 10th so but here's the thing this is alpha but it's also fusion fall when was the last time you have played fusion fall exactly most of you guys won't be able to remember I don't even remember the last time I played it I played the game I don't remember when so what I've been told, because I've gotten in contact with the development team, okay, they sent me over to one of their spokespersons. They said that yes, it is alpha. Yes, the game is glitchy, but it works. So far, you only have the future zone available right now. There is no in-game email address, like how they used to have it, I guess, when you try to send a message. That's not available yet. There is no trading, so sorry, you can't trade items yet. And there's no beta, uh, not beta, there's no groupings yet. So you are playing solo. But here's the good thing. It's free. You just go on the website and you hit download. To open an account and you're just good to go. They said they are thinking of doing, at least, because it is alpha, they're thinking every three months or so they will release an update for the game. After beta, it'll be every two months, and then maybe after the game officially relaunches, it'll be every month that they'll update. We'd have, we don't have an official timeline yet of what that looks like, but so far they have confirmed with, they have said in numerous blogs that they will constantly up this game, update the game. So, we we'll create our new. Uh, I'm thinking of just straight up Alex Cobalt. You know who I am, you know where I am. Must contain two parts. First name cannot exceed first. Okay. Alex Cobalt. There you go. If you want to join the Cobalt family, now you know how to do it. So that means, so far as of me doing that, there have been 3,496 people They've just announced this game, not even 12 hours ago. That's how many people have been watching this forums, their social media and everything. 3,496 people. So let's see, uh, I'm a boy. I'm tall. Uh, medium. I am light skinned. How does that look? That looks good. Okay, uh, I am thinking What shoes do they have available? Those look Okay, uh, army boots Let's go with the blue What pants do they have? I want shorts. No, I don't want shorts. Ooh, those look nice. Let's see what the tops look like. So they have... Um, let's see. Blue. Let's see. Choose features. Okay, let's see. Hair. Oh, that old thing when you can't drag your character. You have to use the bottoms. Dread, Spikes, Star Pilot, Falcon Hawk, Mohawk. Sh 
Shy Eye. Shy Eye, sure. We'll go with that. That's what I am going to go with. Oh, uh, let's see, what's the lighter skin color? No, no, no. We'll go with that skin color. Excellent. Bioscan is complete. Let's make sure your communicator is functioning. All communication systems are functional, Dexter. I will be able to reconnect with the volunteer upon arrival in the future. Affirmative. <laughs> All right, I'm powering up the main engine now. You may feel a little soft. <laughs> Wow, are you seeing these readings? <laughs> A fine day for science indeed! <laughs> Prepare for launch! Ooh, Three, what does this two, do? What? Baby! No! Error, you have been sent much farther into the future than Dexter intended. Oh god. Watch out! There Initiate go. training. Please move the mouse to the right to look good. Excellent. Very use the W A S M. Good. To move backwards, press and hold the S key. Very good. While moving, you can steer left and right by using the mouse. Try holding down the W key to run while steering with the mouse. Excellent. You can also move side to side by using the A and D keys. Now move to the marker near the ledge. To jump, press the space bar. To jump forward, hold the W key while jumping. Please jump onto this ledge. Look! It's a bunch of fusion spawns! You get those, we'll handle this guy. Here, take this weapon! To fire at your target, Click the left mouse button. You can tell how much damage you are doing by looking at your target's health bar at the top of your screen. Woohoo! Nice work, guys! Those creeps turn back into fusion matter when you beat them. Make sure you collect as much as you can. It's real important stuff. You will automatically collect fusion matter from defeated enemies. The amount of fusion matter you have is displayed in your fusion matter meter. As you defeat more enemies, your fusion matter meter will continue to fill up. Warning, more hostiles incoming. We got more company. It's a Cyberus. Let's take him down. Damage to you is indicated on your health bar. If your health reaches zero, you will be knocked out. Yes! We did it! Nice shooting, by the way. You know, I just realized who you are. You're the kid from the past Dexter told us about. Well, you're in a world of trouble now. Look up in the sky. That's Planet Fusion, ruled by some nasty guy named Fuse. Fuse has covered the world with gross green goo, and those disgusting fusion spawns are wrecking everything! Fuse's monsters have evolved and adapted to our planet. You should see some of them. They use things called terrafusers to infect everything with goo. If the infection gets bad enough, Planet Fusion will absorb our world. Now that you're up to speed, can you go help number two? We gotta go help the others. I need some help with a super important mission. Report to me right away. Your communicator comes with a built-in mini-map. It will show you how to reach number two. You are the marker in the center of the minimap. The red marker on the minimap is number two. As you move, check your minimap to make sure that you are going in the right direction. Note that you may need to go around large objects, like buildings, to reach your target. Uh. Uh. Okay, so that's full screen mode. As you move, check your minimap to make sure that you are going in the right direction. Note that you may need to go around large objects, like build. Look for the glowing energy rings to help you find number two. To talk to number two,
Get close to him and characters with a mission for you will have a floating... This attack was no accident. An oil ogre is using a transmitter to broadcast our position. We need to find that monster and get that transmitter. You ready? To exit the mission, the mission's current objective is displayed on your screen. Your first task is to defeat the oil ogre that stole the transmitter. Use your minimap to locate your target. Nice work! Bring that transmitter back to me! Since you have completed your first task, your mission journal has updated. To open your mission journal, press the Enter key to access the main menu on the right side of your screen. Then select Journal. Your mission journal contains information on all your missions. It tells you who gave you the mission. It tells you what you need to do. It also tells you the reward you will receive once you complete the mission. Click the X in the upper right corner of your screen to close the journal. Your new task is to deliver the transmitter to number 2. Note that your current objective has been updated and a new red marker has been set to number 2. Click on number 2 to talk to him and update your mission. Characters with a mission to update will have a floating question mark over their heads. To up to accept your reward, click the close button to exit. You're ready for Nano, and I need your help. I think Dexter's in trouble. Congratulations. Uh. By successfully completing the mission from number two, you have filled up your fusion matter meter. When this meter fills up, you will automatically receive a new nano mission. Completing nano missions will reward you with new nanos. Every nano you collect will give you more powers and make you stronger. Select Buttercup's mission, a fusion matter. Dexter has disappeared. You've got to see if he's in the infected zone. I'll check out here. There's no time to lose. Click the... The most infected areas on the planet are called infected zones. Thanks to Fuse's TerraFuser machines, fusion matter is totally out of control inside. Ha! Huh. Good thing Dexter set up energy shields to contain the infection. Your new task is to enter the infected zone to, f to use the warp gate. Target the blue deck spot attendant and click on it. Very nice weather we are having. Stand by. I am trapped in Fusion Buttercup's lair! Quickly, find the fusion portal! Uh, Use the floating uh, platforms to get across this dangerous pit of fusion matter. You can enter a fusion portal the same way you uh, enter a warp. Now, click the warp button to enter fusion butter. Thank goodness you made it! I am over here! Come talk to me! Select a few- It is you! I knew we would meet again! My stupid sister messed up the time jump sequence and destroyed the time capsule! We need to get you back to the past so you can save our world! Fusion Buttercup is in the next room! We must stop her before she can cause any more damage! Fusions are dark, twisted versions of this planet's heroes, created by Fuse himself. They are extremely dangerous, but I think you can handle it. Are you ready? Let's go! Congratulations! You have made your first nano! Like fusions, nanos are made of fusion matter. You have used the fusion matter you collected in your fusion matter meter to create Nano Buttercup. Don't be discouraged by her size. She may be small, but she is powerful. Your communicator is now a nanocom. It has the ability to store up to three nanos. Whoa! That does not sound good. You can escape to Dex Labs using the warp gate I have set up. I must search this area and make sure Fusion Buttercup did not steal anything from my headquarters. Go to the warp gate to exit the area. To use the warp gate, 
target. Chloe, how are you doing today? Stand by. We can't hold Tech Square anymore. Get to the scamper. Hurry! Shadows have powers that they can use to help you in To Let use Buttercup's power, now that you're heading up a stun, you can get to the scamper safely. You did great, but it looks like Buttercup and the rest weren't able to handle those other Terrafusers in time. Dexter says we gotta find Mandark so we can rebuild the time machine and send you back to the past. Let's get out of here! Despite our best efforts, Tech Square has been lost. But this war is not over yet. Not by a long shot! Our time-traveling friend here is just the hero we need. Between Mandark and Number Two, I am sure you will be able to rebuild my time capsule. Don't worry about me. I will be fine. Get back to Sector V and to safety. Dexter, out! All right, everyone. Next stop, Hero Square Sector V. I'm glad to see you made it out of Tech Square. Please come speak to me right away. We must rebuild the time machine to get you back to the past. Want to dance? Vacations online. Items, including weapons and clothing, are stored in your pack. Buttercup! Okay, so let's see here. So that was the tutorial for... for the uh, Fusion Fall tutorial. Uh, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.